there's a significant proportion of patients who do require alternative therapies after failure of pituitary surgery. And the choices were extremely limited previously, and a significant proportion of patients had to undergo removal of both adrenal glands, bilateral adrenectomy, uh, as the last resource because there were little options besides that. So our hope has, has been accomplished. You know, when I started as an endocrinologist, for pituitary tumors, uh, like for prolactin secreting tumors, almost all patients were going to surgery. Now 90% of patients with prolactinomas are treated with drugs which are very effective to uh, regress the tumor. Sometimes it disappears, and sometimes after a certain number of years, the tumor has shrunk so much that we can stop therapy and doesn't recur. So our hope is that one day we will identify a good combination of medications which are targeting the pituitary tumor, uh, which uh, maybe even eventually you know, could, could uh, prevent uh, the use of surgery if we're looking here in the future. But by understanding better what are the mechanisms underlying what is causing this tumor to appear, like in this case, studies have shown that there were receptors for somatostatin or for uh, D2 dopamine. And there is many progress which have been accomplished in recent years identifying uh, the exact location where genetic uh, alterations appear and are responsible for the tumor. So there are a certain number of targets which will become now available to try to prevent uh, the progression or even uh, cause a complete regression of those tumors eventually. So this requires uh, the collaboration of uh, many uh, fields in the investigation of the patients themselves. And, but it's very encouraging because we see that very significant progress has been accomplished in recent years and more is to come.